<laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Tonight we're taking a deep dive into the Dancing with the Stars season 33 finale. You know, we saw amazing performances, yeah, but there was this one moment, a little bit of onstage banter, that sparked a whole lot of buzz. We got a ton of articles sent in about this. And you know what? It's not just about the Mirrorball Trophy this time around. It's about Judge Julianne Hu and contestant Danny Amendola. Their little exchange, it got everybody talking. Is this the start of something real or just a bit of TV magic? You know, it is fascinating how one seemingly spontaneous moment mm became the story like the story of the entire finale. Think about it. We had incredible dancing, the crowning of a new winning couple. We had all those emotional backstories unfolding over weeks of competition. And yet everyone's fixated on this little flirtation. It really says something about our, I don't know, our obsession with celebrity relationships, right? Especially in the age of social media. Speculation and rumors, they just spread like wildfire. This wasn't just entertainment. It was like it sparked this whole cultural conversation. Okay, so let's set the scene here. Danny and his pro partner, Whitney Carson, they had just finished their freestyle, this high energy, super playful routine, all Barbie themed. They even had a prop bed on stage, like straight out of Ken's dream house, pretty funny. So the dance ends, they're catching their breath, and then Julianne, who's a judge, as you know, she decides to join them on the bed. And well, that's when things get interesting. Mm. Yeah, what happened then was just pure live television gold. You have Julianne, known for her quick wit and playful personality. She's asking Danny all about channeling his inner Ken. And Danny, he doesn't miss a beat. He fires back with, the real question is, Julianne, why are you in my bed? Mm -hmm. the, the audience went absolutely wild. Mm -hmm. The chemistry between them, I mean, real or not, you couldn't deny it. Yeah, and Julianne, She's not one to shy away from a little playful banter. She comes back with, oh, is that an invitation? <laughs> to the whole ballroom just erupts. Laughter, cheers. I mean, you could feel the energy even through the screen. But what makes this whole thing even more interesting is what happens next. The camera cuts away from Danny and Julianne, and it focuses on someone else who had a front row seat to this whole exchange. Julianne's brother, Derek Hugh. So Derek, he's also a judge on the show, and his reaction, oh man, it's priceless. He just throws his hands up in the air, this look of total bewilderment on his face, and shouts, what is happening? It's it's just this perfect moment of comic relief, you know? It breaks the tension, reminds us that even these pros, they can get caught off guard by live TV. Yeah, he was great. And Derek, always the showman, right? He manages to tie his whole reaction back to the Barbie theme with a, you are Knuff, mm -hmm. and it gives Danny a perfect 10. It's that quick thinking, that playful energy that makes Dancing with the Stars so great. It's not just about the dancing. It's the personalities, the relationships, those unscripted moments keep us all glued to our screens. You know, this whole thing really highlights an interesting trend in reality TV. Producers, yeah. they've realized that audiences, we crave authenticity. We want that unscripted drama. These off-the-cuff moments, whether they're totally spontaneous or you know cleverly orchestrated, they generate buzz, fuel all those social media discussions, and in the end, they boost those viewership numbers. It's a win-win for the networks and the viewers. Everyone wants content that feels real relatable. And speaking of relatable, let's talk about the people involved here. Mm. Julian Hu's love life, well, it's been a subject of public fascination ever since her split with Brooks Leitch back in 2020. She's been pretty open about embracing being single, even joked about being uh, on the market on a previous episode of the show. So this whole flirty thing with Danny, no matter what the intention is going to get people talking to you. Yeah, and Danny Amendola's dating history, it adds another layer to all of this. I mean, he previously dated Olivia Colpo, right? And more recently, there were those links to TikToker Sandra Pohl, although kind of downplayed those rumors. But his willingness to engage in all that banter with Julianne on national television, knowing how the media and fans would react, it definitely adds fuel to the fire. So while everyone's online, you know, analyzing every little look and giggle between Julianne and Danny, we can't forget there was an actual competition going on, right? The Mirrorball Trophy was up for grabs. And this season's champions, Bachelor star Joey Gracia Day and his partner, Jenna Johnson. They were amazing. They consistently wowed the judges, the viewers. Their chemistry was undeniable, great technique. And they delivered those emotional performances week after week. Yeah, their win, it really speaks to the lasting appeal of Dancing with the Stars you know. It's a show that celebrates personal growth and resilience and the power of dance to transform people. And even though it is a competition, there's this real sense of camaraderie among the contestants. Viewers were drawn to their individual journeys, the bonds that they form. And even though Danny and Whitney didn't take home the Mirrorball, they still finished in fifth place. Not too shabby. 
Danny's charisma and charm that connected with the audience, he definitely left a lasting impression. That went way beyond that little flirtation with Julianne. So after all this, after all the analysis and unpacking, what's the final verdict? Was it all just harmless fun, amplified by the excitement of the finale, or is there something real brewing between Julianne Howe and Danny Amendola? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And honestly, it's impossible to say for sure. I think we're all kind of programmed to look for connection, for meaning and everything. And sometimes we project our own desires and fantasies onto these celebrities. Maybe it was a genuine spark to people drawn to each other's energy, their playfulness, or maybe it was all carefully crafted, a way to generate buzz and keep people talking. Either way, it made for some pretty captivating television. And it left us with that lingering question, what happens next? Only time will tell if this was just a fleeting flirtation or the start of something real. But that's the beauty of it all, the not knowing, the anticipation, the endless possibilities. It keeps us engaged. Coming back for more. And on that note, we'll wrap up our deep dive. Until next time, thanks for listening.